Hey everyone, Gaffy Man here, and today we're going to be going over the latest addition to the C4 Ultimate line, and that flavor is Nectarine Guava Knockout, coming right up. Hello again everyone, thank you so much for joining me today, I really do appreciate it, and in today's video, we're going over the C4 Ultimate Nectarine Guava Knockout, and will it be a knockout? It's hard to say, but being a guava flavor, I'm definitely a fan of guava, there's not a ton of guava drinks out there, there's a handful, and for the ones that are out there, they're mostly pretty good, so I was interested to see that they were doing a guava drink, and also this is actually the third edition of their C4 Ultimate for the WWE. E edition. They had two other WWE flavor collabs that came out. If you want to see those, you can check out that video right there. I will actually put that at the end in case you want to check it out. Those two were pretty interesting flavors because one of them was like a raspberry flavor, which uh, was just like a straight up raspberry, or so I thought. And most of your drinks are usually blue raspberries, maybe a strawberry raspberry, but there's not too many just raspberry drinks out there. So if you want to know more about those, you can check those out. And if you do want to know more about this reformulated C4 Ultimate, you can check out that video right right there. This used to be a powerhouse pre-workout energy drink because it used ingredients like beta alanine and other pre-workout ingredients. But just within the last year or two, they took out the beta alanine. They started giving you some focus ingredients like cognizant acetylcholine and some other focus ingredients to make it much more of a nootropic energy drink. And this drink does have 300 milligrams of caffeine, unlike the 200 in their regular yellow line. And I go over all those details in that video there. And you know what? I'll also include that one at the end for you as well, in case you aren't interested in that other one or you saw the other one. This one gives you all the information on what changed and what is actually in this drink so you know what you're putting into your body. And since I've gone over so much information on these drinks already, there is only one thing, one thing, one thing left to do in this video, and that's go ahead and taste it out. And here's the can. And, you know, it looks just like the other two cans that they came out with, but I definitely like it better than the regular yellow cans. Yellow cans are pretty simple, pretty basic, and uh, they put like the whole diamond crusted kind of look on here to represent the WWE Championship belt, as well as the logo several times for the WWE so that you know it is a WWE collab. And I'd just like to point out that this is not a sponsored video. Once again, this is not a sponsored video. I paid for this with my own money, and I actually only paid a dollar because they were all a dollar at GNC this this weekend all the c4s just a dollar at gnc and when i say all of them i mean all four of them that they had that's right even though c4 has like over 30 drinks they only carried four drinks in the store and the selection wasn't really that great at gnc at least at the gnc near my house they had the great popsicle and the cherry popsicle although my favorite is the hawaiian pineapple popsicle didn't have that. They had these three flavors, all the WWEs, as well as the strawberry watermelon ice. And if you watched a lot of my videos or you know the channel really well, you'll know that the strawberry watermelon ice is my second least favorite C4. So yeah, so they had six drinks. I'm sorry, I said four. They, they had six drinks to choose from. I picked this one up because it was the only one that I thought I would like and because I hadn't reviewed it yet. Well, let's taste it out. Clear color. Stace it out. All right, let's go from the can. I say for your carbonation, you're getting a medium to high carbonation. For your sweetness, you are definitely getting a high sweetness. And for your flavor profile, I think you're also getting high on the flavor profile. And for those flavors, I'm guessing people are gonna wanna know, is it more nectarine? Is it more guava? And the thing is, I'm getting a little bit more guava up front, but then that nectarine comes in on the back end, and then it starts to kind of overpower the guava flavor. And you get a little bit of aftertaste of the nectarine, even though it does seem to be more guava forward. So I would have to say that for the flavor, Flavor, you're probably getting like a 60% guava flavor right up front. And you're like, oh, this kind of tastes like a guava drink, but then the nectarine comes in and the nectarine is what kind of lingers with you a little bit with a little bit of that guava. It's really kind of hard to say because I'm trying to explain it.
it. You're saying, well, if the nectarine comes in and it's stronger, why is it only 40%? Well, it's because I think overall the drink has a more guava feel to it, but the nectarine comes in, it's a hit and run. It hits you like, oh, hey, there's nectarine in this drink. And then it starts to subside. It's like, yeah, don't forget about me. I'm still here. And guava's like, yeah, keep walking, keep walking, little nectarine, roll away. And he's like, but I'm still here in the aftertaste. You can taste me. And in my head, it plays out so much more differently. If I could actually animate stuff, which if I took the time to go into some AI programs, I'm sure I could get a guava talking to a nectarine. And then you can see the guava, he's there. He's like, hey, how's it going? The little nectarine, he kind of rolls in. He's like, hey, and then he like jumps out like 3D and punches the screen. And he comes back and then they chit chat and then he just like slowly walks away. And I just got over being sick. So there might still be some stuff in my system that make me imagine things, but I do tend to have an active imagination in general. But hopefully that gives you a clearer understanding of what I'm talking about because they say a picture is worth a thousand words. And if I just draw a picture in your head of the strength of this nectarine guava knockout, then I've done my job as an energy drink reviewer. But ultimately people want to know how good is it though? And that's why we put up the Kathy Man rating chart. Definitely got a graphic for that. I think it's a good drink. I think that it is a super solid drink. I definitely like nectarine and guava, but I think that guava is more of a supplemental flavor. I think that things like mango guava or even some of those tropical guavas that are out there, really, really good. But like I said, it's also got a solid nectarine flavor. I am actually gonna give this an 8.8. .8. Very competitive with a lot of the ones up there, but I think I may have preferred if it was more of a nectarine guava. Either way, it's getting an 8.8. .8. As promised, if you wanna see any of those other videos that I reviewed, I will put one there. I will put the other one right there. Don't forget to check out caffeeman1.com to find out a little bit more about me and sign up for a newsletter going over what I went over last week and what will be coming up next week. That's called Seeing the Future. And until next time, have yourselves a great day. Or night.